sorry guys, still sick here, but I'm going to review some tracks. Track review day. Here we go, guys. Okay, so the first song we got to review is Cross Me with Ed Sheeran and featuring Chance the Rapper. Here we go. Okay, do you guys want me to be honest here? This, uh, so far, this Ed Sheeran project is not impressing me at all of what I've heard. He definitely has a lot to prove here still, with two singles just being kind of meh, kind of just background noise. It's just background noise. I actually did play that other Ed Sheeran song, I Don't Care, at my sister's wedding as background music. Totally worked, by the way. You should definitely do that. But anyways... This song doesn't really have much personality to it. Ed Sheeran's just kind of moseying al along with the song. Chance the Rapper is okay. So that gets a nice meh for me. Now we got the song Easier by 5 Seconds to Summer. Here we go. Oh, so much auto-tune. So much auto-tune. What the heck? <laughs> um, yeah, not, uh... Not a great song, but I can see the appeal. It's very boy bandish. They've always been that way, though. That's kind of their deal, so I can't really hate them for that. But uh, lots of auto tune. That really bugged me. I just felt like the singing was very auto tuned in the song, and it just didn't really help me really latch onto it. And the producing is very sugary, very very nice. I don't know. Um, not feeling it really. Not something I would be playing on. The daily, but I also could see it being good for a store like Aeropostale. Is Aeropostale still a thing? Huh. Our next song is Center Point Road by Thomas Rhett. Now let's let's see if he's gonna pull it off with this next single. He's released a lot of singles, by the way. Okay, so the production so it has like a very airy feel to this production how the productions just feels like <sighs> like that that's how it feels listening to this like someone's breathing a bunch of air in my face and it does not match the tone at all of what he's trying to relay to you it just i don't know what he's trying to do here doesn't really work for me uh lyrics they're fine the production just not good and the overall like the feel of the song does not work for me uh this is definitely a pass. Gosh dang it, Thomas, you had it last week. You had it, and then you screwed it up. Gosh dang it, Thomas. Now we got The London with J. Cole, Travis Scott, and of course, Young Thug. Let's, uh, let's get a listen to this. Okay, so with, okay, so with this song, there's not, there's not a lot going on on it. What the heck, you got Travis Scott and J. Cole on this track, Young Thug. What is this beat you're laying down? It's just not interesting at all. <sighs> Gosh dang it. The flow. The flow is nice. I'll give him that. The flow is very nice on this song. It flows very nicely. There's It's just a very smooth, relaxed going song. But uh, the beat's so uninteresting. It's like nothing is going on in this song. There's a little bit of different effects going on. But not a lot. It's like the drums are definitely what is driving the song. And... The drums aren't really that interesting on this song. It's uh, it's not that great. No, no. I mean, background noise. Once again, good job with the background noise. It, these are the best tracks of the week, really? This is what you got? This is what you got? I don't even know if I really want to like uh, talk about this next track. Kygo and Chelsea Cutler with Not Okay. Should I, should I really talk about this one? Because I feel like uh, this I, with Kygo, I've already I've already almost made the decision that I won't like it. But at the same time, gotta give everyone a chance, a fair chance, and I'm going I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it just just for you guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Yeah. The thing with Kygo is every step that is made. By this person it just feels like it's so predictable and obvious where it's going and i just can't stand it i can't stand it i just i feel like i know the song already before i even listen to it like okay it's gonna do that it's gonna do that and then it's gonna have a little drop of like a little bit of a different beat that really picks up and it makes it feels nice it just feels nice however 
background music once again it's it's so harmless that you can't really hate it at the same time it's just like i feel like there's so much potential with kaigo but he just doesn't just doesn't know what to do i guess i don't know i just i'm not feeling it okay so this is gonna be a song that's probably gonna fade in the background it's not even gonna make any difference this year is it jess glenn and Jax jones with one touch here we go here we go best of the week right these are the best songs offered this week this this is supposed to get us hyped for summer Th these songs Okay, the singing's nice and all, but it's just it just doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't get me hyped. It doesn't make me feel anything, anything. But the singing is nice. The beat's fine, and all that's just fine. I want to be impressed. I'm just I'm just not. What is going on with this week? Oh, let's see. Do okay. Let's let's quickly just look. Lips don't lie. Okay, let's let's listen to it. Okay, so okay, so you already know a song is bad when most of the lyrics are the song title. That's that's a bad sign. That's like it's like you just didn't know what to write, so you just you kept writing the same lyrics. It works. Believe me, it works, but uh, not on my watch. You gotta, you gotta make it a little more fun than that. If you're, especially if you're gonna make a song called "Lips Don't Lie," come on. At least with like songs by Shakira, "Hips Don't Lie." Oh, there's so much flavor and so much oomph to it, and it just it makes so much sense. Why can't you just? Why can't you be Shakira? Why can't you? It's just like this is a really disappointing week. This is just a bad week. <laughs> Okay, we got John Party, though. I think that's his last name. He was actually featured in that Thomas song that I liked last week. The, the, something that I can't remember the name. It was like, a, it had to do with beer. But anyways, here we go. Okay, do, have I listened to this guy before? Yeah, I just want, I just want to look really quick. I'm going to look this guy up because I feel like I've heard this song before, but it just came out this week. Maybe he just makes the same uh, song structures or something because this is just, oh, this, this is, ma this makes sense now. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, the dirt on my boots guy. That's what it is <laughs> that's what it is it feels so similar to that that that's that's insane i get it now i get it what about what's this head over is this like the same song head over boots at least it's a little different this one's a little different at least i don't know he's he's not very interesting i feel like he's got a gimmick but that's that's good you know if you like him, you like him though. Good for you. I just I don't get it. Okay, now we got purple emoji by Ty Dollar Sign. Here we go. Let's let's see if this one's any good. Oh, I, I get it now. The purple em the purple emoji is about being uh, horny. <laughs> okay, so oh, do I like this song? I think it sets the mood. I mean, if you're gonna, you're gonna do the whoop de doop then, uh, yeah, this is the, this is the song to do it to. I'll, I'll give him that. But other than that, uh, there's no reason to listen to this song. Just, maybe if you're gonna make that kind of playlist, though, just, just a little ad right there. Uh, I can't wink, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe, should I do one more? I feel like I should do one more. Just, uh, for good measure here. Um, just to end things off, on a good note maybe we got superhuman by nct 127 or is it 127 i don't know either way <clears throat> it sounds like this was made in 2010 uh, so i think that's just not to my demographic i feel like those kind of bands are or groups i should say they're not real i don't consider them bands um they are more uh for maybe like 10 to like 15 year olds maybe because i'm not i'm not feeling it it just feels so kitty i guess it doesn't feel mature at all just like it's 
it it just no it's just no so these are the best songs of the week apparently these are the best tracks that blows my mind it just blows my mind it just really does anyways i hope you enjoyed this uh video and peace